Hello students, welcome to my mathematics class. Today, I shall take a new chapter titled Practical Geometry, Chapter 10. Before we proceed with the construction, let us revise what are parallel lines. If you see here, you have line L and line N. Both the lines do not intersect each other and the distance between them is the same throughout. Such lines are called as parallel lines. An example of parallel lines are the steps of the ladder. You can see in the figure the steps are parallel to one another. The railway track lines, the two are parallel. And the zebra crossing lines, they are also parallel. We have line L parallel to line M. And we have a line T. It intersects both the lines in two distinct points. This line T is called as a transversal. And you have already learnt when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal that each pair of corresponding angles are equal, then each pair of alternate interior angles are equal, and each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Students, let us proceed with the construction of a line parallel to a given line to a point not on the line. We shall take an example now. Draw a line L, take a point A outside it, through A, draw a line parallel to line L using ruler and compasses only. First, draw a line L and take any point B on it. Now take a point A outside line L and join A to B. Take a pair of compasses and any radius, place it on B. Draw an arc cutting AB at D and line L at C. With the same radius, now place the compass at point A. Draw an arc EF, cutting AB at G. Next, place the compass at C and taking CD as the radius, now place the compass at G and draw an arc, cutting the arc EF at H. Take a ruler and join AH to draw a line M. Students, this is how you construct a line parallel to a given line to a point not on the line. Now if you see in the figure, angle ABC and angle BAH are alternate interior angles and therefore line L is parallel to line M. In this session, you are going to study how to construct triangles. Before this, we shall see what is a triangle. A triangle is a closed figure made up of three line segments. If you see in the figure, there are three sides, three angles and three vertices. Also students, you have learnt in class 6, triangles are classified based on its sides as equilateral triangle wherein all the sides are equal, isosceles triangle wherein two sides are equal and scalene triangle wherein none of the sides are equal meaning no sides are equal here. Triangles are also classified based on the angles as right angle triangle wherein one angle is 90, acute angle triangle wherein each angle is less than 90, obtuse angle triangle wherein one angle is more than 90. And you have also learnt a triangle has three angles 
and the sum of the measures of all the three angles in a triangle is 180. You have also learnt in the chapter on congruence of triangles the various criteria for congruence of triangles that is SSS test, SAS test, ASAS test and RHS test. Today you are going to study now how to construct a triangle. So we shall take the first construction. Construction of a triangle wherein the lengths of the three sides are known. We have a figure here. If you see in the figure, the lengths of its three sides are given to you. So, it is an SSS criterion. Now, we shall proceed with the construction. Let us take one example. Construct a triangle ABC given that AB is equal to 5 centimeters, BC is equal to 6 centimeters and AC is equal to 7 centimeters. Before proceeding with the construction, first you have to draw a rough sketch and you can see it on the screen. So this is a triangle here and you can label it starting with any vertex. So here I have BC is equal to 6 centimeters, AB is equal to 5 centimeters and AC is equal to 7 centimeters. Take a ruler and draw a line segment BC of length 6 centimeters. We need to draw AB of 5 centimeters. Take a pair of compasses, measure 5 centimeters on the ruler and place it at B and draw an arc. Now, to draw AC of 7 centimeters, Take a pair of compasses of radius 7 centimeters. Place it at C and draw an arc to intersect the previous arc. Mark this point of intersection as A. Join AB and AC. ABC is the required triangle. Thank you.